Well, it's time for a random vlog, and we're going to talk about social distancing for a little bit here. My pups have been taking lessons in how to social distance. They are not very good at the distance part, but you need to stay apart from people not close together. Even though this is adorable, this is not distant. This is too close together. I have been enjoying seeing these pictures of people creatively getting together with others, but staying nice and far apart. Like all these folks brought their own glass of wine to have happy hour together. These folks are picnicking together, but from a good distance. Don't get close. If we don't do this right now, we're going to have to do it for a lot longer than this. So just everybody, y'all behave. Now, Vienna went for a walk with me during our social distancing and we stayed nice and far apart from everybody. We went on a little trail that had, didn't have anybody on it and she is a good walker on a leash, unlike her brother who is really terrible. So I have much more pleasant walks with Vienna than I do with Giallo. And we got to see beautiful trees and Vienna let me stop and look at the flowers and the berries and all the beautiful things. And then she got a little practice at social distancing and behaving herself. I don't know if you can see all of those ducks in the distance who are social distancing from each other. And she stayed nice and distant from them, even though you can see she is quite alert. When you do walk while social distancing, you can actually walk in the street nowadays because there's no cars out there. My neighborhood is actually being pretty good. There's not much traffic at all. I didn't see but one car while we were walking. And my friend Lori and I went for a walk and she is a teacher and we thought we would teach you how to stay apart from each other. She's walking on the street and I'm walking on the sidewalk. We stay apart from each other, one on one side, one on the other. So be safe when you go out there. Now here's another crazy thing. This is a little bit of creativity that I thought I'd share today. And I did some sidewalk chalk art. Now this was an attempt to get my neighborhood to do something together and it failed except for I had a lot of fun doing it and people enjoyed it anyway. So I'm going to call it a success in that. But my whole idea was to get the whole neighborhood to go out and get some sidewalk chalk and do their sidewalks and have one giant hopscotch through the whole neighborhood. And I was the only one that did it. <laughs> Nobody paid attention. I even put a note on it that said, now go do your own sidewalk. And what I got instead was a lot of people talking. A lot of people stopped by to ask questions. A lot of people stopped with their families and the kids would hopscotch back and forth, up and down. And it was kind of fun. So I got to do some giant doodling with chalk and get to interact with people and, and watch people smile and laugh and play. And that was fun. My neighborhood neighbor from across the street came over because she's like, what in the heck are you doing? She saw me out there with my little knee pads on my sidewalk. And what I did was hopscotch with lots of doodling in between. And then my little note at the end. I did decide to attempt doing my own hopscotch and realized I'm really terrible at this or I had to just put the boxes in the wrong places because I don't remember how to do a hopscotch correctly. But the little kids who all came by just had a blast doing it and they seem to hop along just fine. So maybe it's just that I'm an adult dork instead. That could be it. And maybe it is not that. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? Let's move on to the birthday cards because today is my birthday and I went this week for one more trip to the post office. This is where I went with Vienna uh, yesterday and picked up the last of the birthday cards and thought I would open them all to share with you here online. This is a picture my friend Lori took of me with some of the cards on another walk. Yay for getting birthday cards. It was a shameless ask, but I thought since I have a quarantine birthday, I'm going to go ahead and do something fun. So I did have a little cut on my thumb and I've got it currently bandaged and iced as I speak to you right now. Giala was so upset that we had not taken him on our walk that he decided to yank my arm really fast when I went to take him for his short walk after I got back with Vienna, whacked my hand on the door and sliced my thumb open pretty good. So it's very painful, but I'm going to proceed anyway because, you know, it's a video day. It was a good excuse to get out my letter opener, which I got as a gift 
And I don't remember from who, if it was from any of you, thank you for that. Because it was really helpful to get into all of this mail when I was kind of crippled with having one thumb inaccessible to me. So here are all the beautiful cards. That one's from Haley. She's a young person who I actually met in person. She came to one of my demos at Daniel Smith. This card is from Sarah. And I'm setting all these cards aside without reading them on camera because I'm going to sit down and read them and enjoy them. Sarah sent a gift card along with hers that said no dog treats on the back of it. No dog treats at Starbucks? Don't tell my pups. <laughs> this little piggy is from B. Look how cute and happy that one is. And this next one is from Stephanie who sent one with gorgeous vintage designer paper on it. Love that. And this is from another Steph. And this has beautiful flowers on it. Very, very pretty. All these are so cheerful. Thank you very much. Olive made her own envelope. And I was struggling with trying to get it open because I didn't want to accidentally tear the card. I'm not an expert with these letter openers. And I was afraid I'd grab the top of the card. So I kind of peeled away a corner of the envelope so I could see where the card was and then know I was safe to open it without damaging anything on the inside. It's really hard to do this with one thumb down. I didn't know how much I used my thumbs. So this is from Olive. Beautiful, big balloons, huge, huge balloons. And here's one from Glenda that of course has paintbrushes on it and a palette, really fun. Next up, Sharna sent one with some beautiful coloring of an MFT image. Isn't that cute? She made her own scene too. Thank you, Sharna. And next up, is one from Penny, who sent one with a beautiful dimensional birthday gift on it. Very cute. These are all so cheerful. Uh, Tina made one that's just a single panel. She wrote on the back of a panel, so you don't have to actually make a folded card to make one that's very happy and beautiful. Penny made one with a scene. I love all of these spotlights. Oh my goodness, this just made me giggle. That was really fun. Super happy card. Uh, Linda made a gorgeous laminated bookmark for me, so that's going to be nice to use. It had two sides, but I didn't flip it over on camera. Sorry about that. There's another beautifully colored picture on the other side. And Sherry colored a flower. This is one of my favorite flowers from Ellen Hudson. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And look at this one. It's got all kinds of elegant details on it and had all kinds of beautiful flowers and butterflies and shimmery shiny things and texture and layers and stuff. And I got two cards from Teresa or TK. This one was hilarious. A guy all kind of tied up and the inside said I would come visit but I'm practicing social distancing. Good for you and the distancing. Yay. <laughs> and she also sent a birthday card. So I had two from her and it is all about the food and I am all about the food on my birthday. I'm going to make my own birthday cake tomorrow. I can't wait. Thank you so much to all of you who sent in birthday cards. I know there are a bunch that are still on route that people told me are on the way. I'm looking forward to seeing them when they get here. And I have a gift for those who have stayed to the end of this video, which is that the colored pencil storybook scenes class is posted. It's finally up. I got it done last night and I'm excited to share that you can go take that class. Lots of fun things that you can learn to draw for your card backgrounds. And that's it from me for today. I'm going to go hang out with these two cuties because they are the sunshine of my life, my little babies. And we're going to have our own birthday party and make our own birthday cake. And we'll see you guys later. We'll see you on the flip side. Take care. Bye-bye.